at Lisa's world. So today, before I tell you what you are going to do, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification so if I post any video, you'll be the first one to know. Okay guys, we are going to have a farm tour. Goat, cows, chicken, like that. Okay guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. The person who's going to give us a tour, her name is called Dr. Margaret. She's, she's a doctor and she's a farmer. Okay guys, let's go. Hi dear, how are you? Hi. Karibu sana. Thanks. Yes, this is Barakayami Farm. You're very welcome. I hope you learn as much as you can. Thank you. And I'm very proud of what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, so to start us off, I made us breakfast. Mm -hmm. with some of the things that we get from the farm. And I hope you'll enjoy it. Mm, thank you. Yeah. So, do you have anything in you know mind on what you want to learn? How animals digest bodies, things like that. Okay. Yeah, you're going to learn. We have some cows here, so we get our milk from here. Mm -hmm. uh, we also grow our own vegetables. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's lots of skooma there, mm -hmm. spinach, some lettuce, tomatoes, and lots of pumpkin. Do you, do you eat pumpkin? <laughs> yes, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, we also have chicken, where we get our eggs from, mm -hmm. and yes, we also have banana. Feel free, so we'll have breakfast now, a uh, cup of tea perhaps. Why are you interested on knowing how food grows, Lisa? You know, so when I grow up, mm -hmm. I I can you know mm -hmm. uh, keep animals and make make other foods mm -hmm. with combinations good. Mm -hmm. That's great, but it's hard work. You know that, yeah. Yes. Waking up very early in the morning. What time do you wake up usually? <laughs> when I go to school, I wake up at five. Uh -huh. I feel to cry. Yeah, so here, mm -hmm. you have to be used to waking up at around 5 o'clock, that's when we milk the cows. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> it might be good giving it a thought whether you really want it, right? <laughs> yeah, so, karibu sana. And feel free to ask me any question you have. Okay. Yeah. To show me a chai. because the food was so delicious. Oh. Even my mom can't beat that. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, God, I got into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, absolutely, we are Barakayami and we are very blessed. So we hope that uh, whatever it is that we're producing in the farm makes such yummy food. So you're very welcome. <laughs> I, I think those goats and cows and chickens are very talented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we looked, we look after them. Mm. Absolutely. I'll show you some of the people who look after them as much as I also do. Okay. Yeah. Can we go to the home now? Oh yeah, sure. We are ready for this. 
Because I told you we work very hard here at Barakayami mm -hmm. and I don't do it alone. Uh, yes. This is actually part of the team that does it. Oh. So this is Joroge, uh, mm -hmm. Jose, Joy, Mama Joy and Monolu and also John Tira. Oh, you have a lot of G. Yes, oh G's, yeah? Yeah, Joy, Joy, Joy. Just like Joy. Jesus. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you the rest of the farm. Okay. Yes, you have to keep them secure <laughs> from dogs. We have to feed them. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Cindy. Mm -hmm. Cindy is one of our oldest girl here. Uh, I'll, I'll show you her babies when we get wow. to the other side. And okay. we're expecting her to produce another baby. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, she's by beautiful. By the end of this month. So this is some mm. of the food we give. Mm -hmm. you want to do it? Just put the food there. And they love it. Kenna? Wow. Huh? Little babies. Mm -hmm. They have to take milk for three months, just like a, a baby mm -hmm. does. And and this is Baraka. Also a very beautiful girl. Wow. You like her? Mm -hmm. She's she... just like a cow from a cartoon. I know. Exactly. I know. That's her mommy there. <laughs> and she likes your food. Oh. <laughs> She's quite <laughs> and the calves, sorry, calves like to play a lot, so you should keep jumping and jumping. Okay, just like little kids. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, as you can see, cows feed for the three months. Okay, she's really a drinker. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The agriculture sector contributes 51% of Kenya's wealth, 60% mm. of employment and 65% of exports. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, that's absolutely true. If you think of it, mm. even as you are coming to the farm, you must have seen many other farms and cows mm. and plus you always want something to eat at the end of the day, isn't it? Yes. So, and it has to come from somewhere. Yeah. So us farmers do the hard work of providing that food on your table. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, there's another cow there. Her mm -hmm. name is Candy. Yeah, her name is Candy and Candy is uh, Cynthia's firstborn girl. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. <laughs> I can see you're good at naming cow. Tell us about yourself. My name is Dr. Maggie Njoroge and one of my hobbies is actually farming. farming. Yes. So if I'm not doing anything medical or administrative, I'm in the farm and I love it. And if you're not in the farm, uh -huh. you're in the... I'm either in the hospital or talking to young kids like yourself <laughs> at Muguga High School. What motivates you to do dairy, dairy farming? Um, the one thing that uh, motivates us at uh, Baraka Farm is to be able to produce uh, fresh milk, fresh creamy milk mm -hmm. uh, with no chemicals and no hormones. So we do mainly organic farming. So we are sure that whatever is safe for us to take is also safe for our customers to have. Okay. Yes. What was your lowest moment while you were un undertaking dairy farming? Uh, dairy farming can come with its challenges. Uh, one of our lowest moments at the farm, and everybody can tell you that, is when we lost a cow because she had swallowed a nail. We bought her when she had swallowed uh, a very sharp object that pierced her heart mm -hmm. and she died. So that was a very low moment. Okay. And also sometimes when the cows get sick, mm -hmm. you know, they're just like our friends. So when they fall ill, we also feel sad. But we actually have the best team of veterinary doctors to come and have a look at them when they're sick. And in no time, they, they get yeah. better. What advice would you give to kids who want to take farming as a career? Oh, I would, I would be very, very delighted. Lisa, when I was growing up, my mother never ever told me that farming could be a career. But now it is, uh, looking at how we are going, you know, you can basically grow any sort of foods to be eaten locally and also internationally, like you had said. Mm -hmm. So uh, farming is very rewarding. I'd advise you to start small, even as young as you are. Uh, you should be able to grow your own skumawiki, yes. uh, your own dania, 
grow some tomatoes mm -hmm. and look after them mm -hmm. so that uh, you get motivated and you keep learning and learning and in no time you become the best and is that these snails are so precious if they ever get broken uh -huh. while farming I can scream. When you break a nail, what mm. do you do? Um, as you can see, my nails are also very pretty. There's something called equipment and tools for the work. If you so, want to still keep your nails beautiful and short, uh, yeah. you use the right tools for the job. So I use gloves. I have my gloves on when I'm working. Mm -hmm. I also wear an overall that makes sure that my clothes are not dirty. Mm -hmm. And I also use uh, say if it's a shovel when I'm meant to be doing it instead of picking things with my hands mm -hmm. So if it's something that needs to be cut I use a scissors or a djembe or a fork djembe and that way your nails will remain beautiful like yeah. mine Okay mm. Okay, so about the cows, mm -hmm. milking the cows, it is, is it a problem? Ah, no, it's not a problem. Monoru does it. You met Monoru before, right? Yes, yes um, he does it and we just have to be very clean. So we use a nice warm water to, you know, to clean the cow's udder. And then we use clean buckets to milk and some oil so that it's very soft to milk. We make sure that we observe the cows and that's actually the best time to see whether a cow is unwell and whether the udder is in perfect condition so what challenges do you face mm. sometimes being a doctor then being a farmer mm. what challenges are in balancing everything uh, because quite uh, both sides are quite demanding because uh, having a farm is almost a full-time job and also practicing in a full-time job but you you know how to balance it out and plus if you have the best of teams uh, then the team also works you know to achieve the same goals as you'd want so um, I'm very fortunate to and I'm very blessed to have a very good team this corona pandemic mm. has it been more harder um, I wouldn't say it's been hard because most of our customers are actually from around and because when there was COVID everybody stayed home that ensured that we continued to supply our milk so uh, we didn't have major major challenges okay. Mm. okay guys we're not done yet there's a lot of questions to be asked mm. okay. Dr. Margaret, yes. what are the value additions of dairy farming? Um, Lisa, we are able to uh, prepare maziwalala. Have you had maziwalala before? No. Mala. Uh, we do yogurt as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we make milk cream, mm -hmm. like uh, the kish you just had, had lots of milk cream. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the future, we will be making ice cream and also cheese. So I know, I know that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, when you make those stuff, mm. I'll be your number one customer. Oh, karibu sana. <laughs> <laughs> you make me get into it sooner than I thought. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm. okay. Okay. Where do we go next? Um. So we will go to the pigs section. Mm -hmm. I hope you've learned as much as you could. Mm -hmm. And if your friends have any other questions, just let them uh, put them down, and we can answer them. Mm -hmm.